So I want to talk about being content. This past weekend we went to a Christian family camp and we got to spend a whole weekend immersed in the Word of God, learning about what a wife and mother's job is and a huge part that we talked about is being content. Now we all struggle with being envious and not content with the things we have but I'm working on being better at that and I wanted to share with you just an example of something in our life that I want but isn't necessarily a need. So here it is. Thanks for joining us on our channel. Come and meet our family before we get started. My husband's name is Brian and my name is Keely and we're so glad you're here. This is Leilani, the oldest of the three kids we have. And this is Piper, our middle daughter. She's full of spunk. And our youngest is Madeline. And this is our sweet boy, Tommy. That makes us the Conley family. Before, our girls had a cube storage system in here, and they kept lots of fun little trinkets and knickknacks on there. And this is what we use for dressers right now. And my husband and I have found some dressers we really like and would like to get them, but it's about $360, and it's not money that we have right now. So we're waiting. And last night, I really wanted to just order them and use a payment plan for them. And we had to stop and go, like, is this the right direction we want to go in? Is this contentment? Is this satisfaction? And it's not. And that thing was not an essential. Storing toys and stuff on top of there is not a need. It's really a want. They still have a place to put their clothes. And so one of the things that we did need is a place to put their laptops to charge for school since they're a huge part of what we use in their nightlight. Those are needs. And so we moved the dog crate in here because it's a much sturdier, high quality plastic and it holds the laptops perfectly. And I'm really thankful that I just thought, you know what, this would be a good way to fix this and put it all together because $360 is not a small amount of money to anybody. And I'm thankful that this will make do until we have that saved to get them some nicer dressers that can hold everything with their piggy banks and whatnot on top. So it was a blessing to me to be reminded want and need are different and to be thankful for what you have when you have it. If you're in the Southern California area and you are looking for a wonderful Christian camp to go to, I highly suggest Camp Ironwood. My husband and I and our family have been raising funds to help send kids on sponsorship there for the past almost four years. And uh, this was our first time going as a family and we'll be going back a couple more times in the next year and we are super looking forward to it. It was a wonderful place to be and it was an encouragement to us and a blessing and we're really thankful that our church sent us on a sponsorship there. Um, it was great and I really cannot wait to go back. <laughs> so check it out. They have all kinds of retreats. Mother, daughter, father, son, couples, women's counseling, all that kind of stuff. So it was really cool and who knows, maybe it'll be a blessing to you. It is 9.38 in the morning. Piper had a tummy ache last night again. And she ended up in my bed. Mm, sweet girl. Piper's laptop is broken thanks to this little poop. So now we've just let her take hold of it and play with it as a toy since it's unrepairable. Alright, the girls are working on some school and I'm building laundry. Piper's working on her letter J's and Lonnie's practicing cursive. What letter are you on? Yeah. Good job, girls. So, we're working on crazy hat night for Awanas, and I'm tying all this string around, and then we're gonna make some crazy hair that comes off of it. You excited, girls? Yeah, but I can't see you. <laughs> so, you can see where this is gonna go. <laughs> Very excited. Wani's hat is inspired by leftover craft stuff. Leftover craft trash. Turn. Me. <laughs> Definitely crazy hat night. I decorated mine. <laughs> These ones we got for our birthday. Five for turn. Let's see your crazy hat. <laughs> so we read Amelia Bedelia's chapter eight, and we're wondering what 
the girls are going to do about the boys overthrowing a parade and being pirates. What do you think? Um, I think we might just, Amelia Bedelia might just walk up to Jason and tell him, what are you doing? And then they're going to be all frightened and stuff. Mm-hmm. You think they'll confront them? Do you think they're going to tell their parents? Um, I don't think so. Amelia mm -hmm. Bedelia is not a teller. <laughs> <laughs> back and touch on the whole being content with where you are what you have it's a really big deal and I think we all fall subject to being not content wanting other things seeing something somebody else has and going oh yes that is for me I want that what do I have to do to have that and I want to share some verses in the bible that may be an encouragement to you Philippians 4.11 says, Not that I speak in respect of one, for I have learned, in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. Then we have 1 Timothy 6.6, 6, But godliness with contentment is great gain. Notice the lowercase g. Here are a couple of versions, so you can have a greater understanding of what this verse is talking about. I really enjoy the Amplified expanded version but godliness actually is a source of great gain when accompanied by contentment that contentment which comes which comes from a sense of inner confidence based on the sufficiency of god sometimes i can't talk this is a really big one guys let your conversation be without covetedness and be content with such things as ye have for he hath said i will never leave thee nor forsake thee scripture always has a way to take us to a point of understanding why should we be content what is the reward for being content why does god command us to be content or to not covet so hopefully those will give you some things to think about be an encouragement to you and a blessing and if i can pray for you as i pray for myself and my own struggle to be content please let me know in the comments below i would love to pray for you i think that um as christians and those who walk in the lord together so important we'd be praying for one another, especially in the things that we struggle with. And in the world that we live in today, being the 21st century, where there's constantly new expensive things, one's desires, homes are supposed to look a certain way with a certain amount of furniture, kitchens are supposed to be beautiful and have marble countertops, and their cabinets are supposed to be white and they have farmhouse doors and, you know, all these things that are costly. Learn to be content with what you have. And if you have the money to replace it, there's nothing wrong with that. But don't lust after things you do not have. So that's all for today. Milani came to say goodbye. I'm tired still. I mm -hmm. took a nap for like 13 minutes while you were putting the baby to sleep. Uh -huh. And then I know wake now. I'm tired. Okay, say bye and see I'll you see next you. time. Bye. See you next, next time. time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep, if you would. You'll see lots of <laughs> family have content. Party contentment homeschooling just love for the lord we want to get up to 100 subscribers oh that would be incredible billion, billion, billion. <laughs> <laughs> Not bye <enough>. guys <laughs> bye, bye.